talking of casting, who could be better cast for the life and soul of the party than that breezy variety and radio comedian, George Doonan? Thank you. Well, as a matter of fact, I must have music because uh, my, uh, my pianist isn't here today. He's away in Paris. He's, uh, he comes from Paris. I mean, he's, uh, he's a, a, a parasite. <laughs> uh, not a parasite. A Parisian. <laughs> Pardon me, will you? What's the matter with you, old man? Come out of here. What you talking about? Parasites and Parisians. Why don't you learn your part? Where's your funny jokes? If I have any trouble from you, you get a kick in the pants. You won't have it, you understand? I always talk to myself like that. It does me good. Sometimes I tell myself funny stories, then I find out I've heard them. <laughs> Anyway, it was only last week oh, uh, I was... Pardon me. Yes, Excuse sir. me. Are you Mr. Doolan? Well, with regards to which, sir? Well, Mr. George Doolan. Mm, yes. Well, I have a letter for you here. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> well, uh, does it start, dear sir, unless... Oh, no, no, no. You'll find that yeah. quite all right. Uh, well, thank you very much. There you are. Yes. Thank you. Nice weather we're having. Oh, fine. Yes. yes. Are you staying round here long? Well, just for a few weeks, yes. Oh, yes. Very nice place here. Oh, I love it here, yes. Yeah, the only trouble is I'm out there. I don't like the laundries here. The laundries? Oh, do they shrink your things. Really? You see that tie? Yes. Last week they were pyjamas, that was. <laughs> terrible. <laughs> do it's about. No compunction, old man. <laughs> Dear Mr. Doonan, this is to introduce to you Mr. Keith Devon. Are you Mr. Devon? I'm Mr. Devon, yes. Good. Devon, Mr. Devon. Yes. But from Devon, glory of <laughs> You haven't any clotted cream with you, have you? Oh, no, never. No, I thought you would have. <laughs> Uh, Mr. Devon, he is honest, upright, always sober. Are you always sober? Always, yes. Nuisance, isn't it? His integrity... His inte what is that old man there? there? His integ uh, integrity. Oh, there was a fly there. I beg your pardon. Sign of an early spring. His integrity is above suspicion. In fact, he is the cleverest and finest man I have ever met. Here, who wrote this? I did. I thought you did. Mm. You know, you, you'll get on, you will. And so will you, my man, if yes, you do as I man. tell you. You know, I've been looking for a man like you. Yes. A man that can concentrate his undivided attention and efforts my way. Naturally, he mustn't be one of those needy, greedy, avaricious <coughs> types of persons <coughs> or out of everything for proper or gain. <coughs> now, I want the man who will act upon his own initiative and individuality. A man that knows an opportunity when he sees one. And bear in mind, my friend, an opportunity only occurs once in a lifetime. It comes like a snail and it passed like a racehorse. But remember, the three great slogans in life are integrity, diplomacy and courtesy. And another thing, look at that suit. How dare you walk about like that? Don't desiccate statements of intrinsic value to meet with my correct moments. And remember, the three most important things in life are integrity, diplomacy and courtesy. And another... Just a minute, old man. Do you know the... Oh. Hmm. Do you know... That's funny, I'm going wonky. It's better. Do you know why, how much soap is used extensively all over the world? Yes, I can tell you. I'm telling you, I'm having a basin full now. This suit has turned well, hasn't it? Never no, mind about that. Do you know the output of cars at the present moment are between 600 and 700 a week? I've skidded. Where's the chalk? That's better. <laughs> and why? Because it is due to three things. Plenty of thingamabob, what you said, and... and courtesy. Uh, courtesy. Just a minute, old man. You, uh, you came up to me a few moments ago and it went like that. Then you went like that. Did you or did you? I did. You, did you? Then you went like that. I don't mind that, and I don't mind that, but don't do that. I said, don't do that. Oh, of course, if you do that, I, I should have to do that. <laughs> oh, ma'am. <coughs> Who's that? After all, you, you can't expect to do that and get away with it. <laughs> Uh, besides, oh, I beg your pardon, what I've done. Good gracious, oh, look what you've done. I, I'm telling you, sorry, I've old man, I know I How idea. dare you do that? that? Yes. Of course, you see what you've done now. What's that? You wicked little man, you've taken off my pyjamas. I, I, um... Mm. Well, we don't want any bother after all. It's just terrible to get all this bother on. <laughs> now, don't be a silly big boy. And don't you be a silly big boy. And... Uh, and uh, Of course, now, we don't want to fall out, old man. No, no, no. I like you. you do? Honestly, I think you're the nicest little fellow I've ever had the pleasure of meeting. Good. Put it there. There we are. Oh. 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 oh.